we would have work account. But I said no. 16 plus months later, here we are, and I'm like, oh no, my head's spinning because he literally is calling me back into this, and, he's, and, I, and he wants me to apply what he taught me in the traditional business sense, in the traditional business model, to this. And we've been doing this now for two and a half years, and I'm still not really quite sure how the two correlate. Because you have this is a service industry, what I was doing. This is music, worship. It's it's not, you know, uh, pep rally music. It's not the feel good, warm, fuzzy worship music. This is some reggae with Middle Eastern tribal. It's a dead can dance uh, foundation, and you add Sade, David Bowie, and Love and Rockets on top of it. Okay, right? It's like the world even even looks at it and goes, huh? Let alone Christians who don't even know who half of those artists are for the most part. And then you have to say, did you ever see Gladiator? Oh, God. you know, they've all seen that. Um, and so the day, literally, I'm not kidding. I mean, hours within hours, my wife and I, you know, we had we had to we had to go before the Lord and, and, and submit to this and align ourselves with this new assignment. It's like turning the freaking Titanic. You know, this beast. And as soon as we made alignment with the Lord, with this with with this word, right, to do His will, to do this thing. No more clients. No more income. Now we're hemorrhaging ten thousand dollars a month. I have to fire everybody. I have to break my leads. I mean, it was nuts. Absolutely nuts. This is like June ish of um, of oh eight. And now I have to start thinking I should probably go to Cornerstone. I mean, why would I go to Cornerstone? Now I'm like now we're thinking Oh no! Now we. I have to. I think I. Now I should probably go to Cornerstone. And so we go to Cornerstone, and then we come back. Now it's the whole process of. All right, this is what I think we're supposed to do. You know, because slowly. So by November, we. You know, the writing process was unlike anything I've ever done before. I mean, I would go into my garage, which was really holy. Smoke my cigarettes, and he would actually download the songs from top to bottom, arrangements, everything, and I would just transcribe. Go up there and. Here's our little demo. And then on uh, November 5th of, of 08, we turned on the recording studio and started laying the drum, the, the, the click tracks and songs. Um, very difficult, very hard, um, just the process. A lot of prayer and fasting. And Cass, that's the same sister I was telling you about that lives in Cyprus now, I was like, man, we don't want to do this. She goes, you have to do this. It's a solemn mandate from the Lord. Yeah. And we've you know, we're, luckily we are surrounded by a lot of heavy-duty prophetic players. You know, people that are just, you know, I know I'm 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 in these little Facebook battles with people that don't believe in the prophetic or the supernatural, let alone speaking in tongues or the fivefold ministry or any or you know, 99% of what I subscribe to. So I'm not sure what your what your viewers believe or even what you believe, but we actually believe in this stuff. And, and I can't even tell you how many times. Over and over, we've heard those type of words. You have no choice. You have to do this. <laughs> <laughs> to answer your question, um, yeah, none of us had a need to do this, let alone if we're going to do this. If we were, if I was going to go back into music, it was going to have to be not only the Lord, but it was going to have to be God. It was going to have to be God, all God. I mean, why would I just do another, you know, entertainment-based worship? Band? It was going to have to be something significant, otherwise I'll just stay at home and run my business. So yeah, we the world doesn't need another worship band. You know what? You know what? The world doesn't need any of that. But if you take a group of individuals that are completely and entirely and utterly sold out to God, reckless obedience, ah now that's something he can work with. Where did the title of the album come from? It says so on the in the album. <laughs> That's how you can find out the answer to the question. Yeah, men as trees walking dot net. Give generously. And also alanaguire dot com, correct? Yeah, that's mine. You can be contacted through there as well. Which brings up another question. You've made calls before. You you've notified people on Facebook that if they're interested in having men as trees walking come to their town, 
that they can contact you through the contact uh, section on menacetreeswalking.net. Right. You're currently on tour. Where are you headed now? Uh, Southern California, the West Coast. And what uh, you have one particularly interesting date yeah. coming up. Tell us a little bit about that yeah. with the Whosoever's. We um, the Whosoever's. Sunny, Sunny from POD, Brian Head Welch, and Ryan Reese, uh, Raw Reese. Um, it's this little grassroots movement. About two years ago, all these, all these people started hearing from the Lord to do something similar. We heard what we heard, you know, the musicianaries. You know, it's a, that term, musician. We heard what we heard from the Lord and how to do it. It's a Keith Green moth. Uh, go out and minister and, and provide your shirts or CDs for whatever people can pay. And so even if it's nothing. So we encourage people to give a lot of their money because the guy behind them might not have it. So we you know, we heard that two years ago. The whosoever, Sonny and all them, they heard that two years ago. Come and Live, uh, that label, the musicianary label, comeandlive.com that we're on, uh, affiliated with, they heard the same thing. Uh, it's amazing. We do, we're a part of a thing called The Objective, theobjectivenow.com. Uh, the guy that runs the Extreme Tour, him, me, and another guy, Jeremy Yoder, a great worship leader, do this thing called the Objective. The Lord pulled the carpet out from GMA, Gospel Music Association in Nashville. And two years ago, I prophesied over Ted, telling him that God was going to give it to him because he would be a good steward of it. And last April in Nashville, the only thing happening, because there's no more GMA, the not-so-GMA is what we call them <laughs> now, the only thing going on was the Objective with 350 band groups. It's just amazing. It's bringing everything back down to the core value, the common denominator of seek first the kingdom, or the Joshua principle, because the Joshua principle is seek first the kingdom. And so the whosoever's, Sonny, was just led to do this real basic, fundamental, grassroots, evangelistic thing called the whosoever's. Whosoever believes in me, so we're all whosoever's. And they have some amazing favor in the public school system in Los Angeles, where they're going into these schools and Sonny gives his, his testimony, or, or Brian Head Welch gives his testimony, which is a strong one. There's this girl that used to be a, a porn star. Uh, I forgot what her ministry is, but she's, she gives her testimony. Uh, and everyone's using the tag name whosoever. is like either in the middle name or a last name, you know, on Facebook. I've noticed that. that. Yeah. And it's just awesome because it's this grassroots thing. So anyway, uh, Ryan's dad's church used to do a thing called the Sunday Night Gig. We've done it before. Uh, Christ of Farai has done it. Uh, Phil Wickham has done it. So we did that last year. Well, now it's the Whosoever's Friday Night Kid. So that this is Friday night. We're playing with a band from uh, South Africa called the Arrows. Check them out. These, all these people are going to be there. They just finished doing this huge Benefit for Chi from uh, the Deftones. Uh, the Whosoever's Benefit for Chi. Yeah. I mean, this thing is immense. So it's a real blessing because we're going to do that show again. And we get to see our old friends, you know, and you know, Sonny and them and Brian. And, and then, yeah, we've got a, a good, a good uh, six-plus week tour ahead of us on the West Coast. Excellent. Yeah. Alan Aguirre, Menace Trees Walking. The website is menacetreeswalking.net. Alan, thank you so much for your, thank time. You for your time. I really appreciate it. And check out the album. The album title is? 1518. And you can purchase it through the website. Please right. give freely. The band could really use it. Thank yeah, you again. Yeah, it would be really good. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Bird song. <laughs>